Hey everyone, it's JDM Drifter. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up the all-new Hot Wheels 2019 Holiday Edition of the VW Drag Bus. Now, I barely ever open RLC cars. The only RLC car I've ever opened was last year's membership, 67 Camaro. Usually, I only keep one card at RLC car for myself, but the reason I'm going to be opening this one today is because when I received this in the mail, the protector came cracked in this corner and the bus had fallen out of the protector, had this corner very damaged and then slight damaging to this corner as well. Some other people have had this problem as well. It's due to the weight of this bus. It's extremely heavy and throwing it into the boxes and throughout shipping, it's causing them to get damaged corners and falling out of the protectors. So I wasn't going to send this one back to Mattel since it's super nice piece. And I, this is actually my first ever panel Volkswagen drag bus I have. If you look right here, I have some samples I brought out as well as my pink custom of the Volkswagen T1 drag bus. But those are not the panel version. They have windows. And this is the panel version of the drag bus, the all-time collector favorite and finally, I've been able to get a hold of one. That's why I'm keeping this one and opening it up. I did get two of these as well. Here's the other one that came with good corners and the protector. I got number 2,028 of 10,000 on my good one. And it also makes the one that I'm opening even worse. It was a lower number of 957 of 10,000 on the one with the bad corners. That I'd also bring out last year's 2018 holiday edition of the Texas drive -Um. This is a very nice piece. I only have one other Texas drive -Um, and it has the dirt bikes in the back. It was the Pop Culture Cocoa Puffs release. But this one is different because it's got the Rudolph in the back with the snow in the bed. And the Rudolph's removable as well. And for this one, I got number 8,664 of only 9,000 made. And for this year, there's 10,000 made instead of 9,000. So if you look at the back of last year's Texas Drive Home Christmas release, notice on a lot of RLC Ford releases, they have the Scan to Win sticker on the back, which has to do with the Ford licensing. This is the first Redline Club card I've noticed to have a barcode on the back. I'm not sure what that is for. I've looked at my other Redline Club cars and I do not have barcodes on the back of any other ones. So I'm not sure why this one does. If anyone knows about that, let me know in the comments. But in my opinion, I think last year's uh, holiday release was a lot better than this year since it was more Christmas themed. This year's, you know, is super nice, but for a holiday car, you know, in the blue and everything, like last year he had the Rudolph. Um, this one's not that bad for a Christmas car, but I think a lot of people also agree that last year's was better. So before I open it real quick, let's take a better look at the front of the card. It says Mattel Toy Makers right there. 2019 holiday car, club exclusive, presented by Redline Club. And on the back of the card, you can pause that and read it if you'd like to. And there's some more pictures of the bus there. My number, and then there is the other side view of it. So I think it's about time to open this up. And this will be the second RLC car I've ever opened. So let's check out the packaging it came in real quick. This is how it was packed. So you have the back plate in there to hold it in place. And there is the clear window that we don't see on any other Hot Wheels releases besides RLC and convention releases. So let's go ahead and get an up close look at it. And I'm also gonna put it on the turntable as well and show my other Volkswagen drive buses. This is a very, very nice casting. Love the paint on this, as you can see. The super nice Spectre Flame Blue. It's got the candy canes on the side of the snow and the gold Hot Wheels logo. These are the Neo Classic wheels, and they have the gold rim and white wall tires instead of red lines like usual. Chrome metal base, so this is an all metal piece, and also opens up. We have a gold seat with a roll bar. Super nice, all chromed. Looks really good on this. If you look at this wing on top, 
It says happy holidays from the Redline Club team. We have the gold Volkswagen logo, detailed headlights as well, and detailed taillights. Rolls really good. This would be a great downhill racer since it has plastic wheels. The Spectre Flame Blue. It's a different shade of blue than what I've seen. It's more of like a purplish shade to it as well. Very nice looking. And I'm going to put it on the turntable so you guys can get a good look all around it. Now let's check out the other releases I have of the Volkswagen Drag Bus. So here's the 21 window Volkswagen Drag Bus. This has been the only drag bus I've had. I also have the drag truck, but here are the buses I have. So it opens up, looks like same interior as the panel RLC Drag Bus. This one was from 50th Favorites. Hard to find and popular. I only found it once and I grabbed two out of the ones that they had. These have detailed headlights and taillights, real riders. These were the deep dish five spokes and chrome. Super nicely done. I like the Zamac finish with the Spectre Flame on the sides and roof, as well as the white and purple flames. Here's the custom I did with the 50th Favorites one. Uh, you've also probably seen this if you watched my ID T1 GTR review. I showed both of these as well. Showed some of the very well-known Hot Wheels drag buses. Painted this in some metallic hot pink paint. Detailed the front. Detailed the taillights. Still opens up with the purple interior. Really like how this one came out. Just nice and simple. Pink drag bus. And I do have one other release of the 21 window drag bus. And I have it on the card. It's the pop culture release from a few years ago. I have one of these carded as well. So here are the drag buses that I have. And it's finally nice to add the panel drag bus to my collection. So I'm gonna put my 221 window Volkswagen drag buses on the turntable. And then I think that's gonna be about it for today's video. So that's about all for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my Instagram. It is it's JDM Drifter. I post all my customs and finds and RLC cars I get on there. And yeah, look forward for future videos. I have a few other things I still need to review. And thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.